Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Whether it's your first time or you're coming back for more. Today, I'm going to be sharing a few quick short tips that cover the intro of archery, as well as finish off making the tool for the handle that we did in the previous episode here on the channel. We are also going to be leaving our makeshift axe slash pickaxe behind and opting in to forge some actual tools that will help us achieve the next steps that we want to take, which of course involves going into the mines and eventually deep mining. Make sure to leave a comment on the video to see more and subscribe to keep up to date with all of the content coming up on the channel. Thank you for all of your support. I hope you enjoy this installment of a township tale. Quick tip on the fly here. Um, you will see these on the ground. I was looking for one earlier. This can help you out. Um, this is like basically, I would call them rusty. I mean, just rusty quality. You don't craft them or anything. These are things that you fall out, find on the ground. You can find shovels. Um, these, which are like, we got like a ball peen hammer to help you smithy some stuff out. Um, there are some looks like roadway nails i think you can use those for chisels just stuff like that so keep your eyes out from the very very beginning of the game and they also have pickaxes also um, that are rusty so super helpful for you people out there that are looking more towards archery and stuff like that in the end game and combat uh, you can see that jackass of a chicken behind me um there's feathers on the ground next to me but if you go ahead and <clears throat> harvest his feathers like so Get back here. Okay. Like I said, harvest his feathers. You can take back out that dagger that I just put up. You can take your dagger to the feather, chop them up into two feathers that look like this. From This is like your key to fletching. So go ahead and start gathering up these feathers and gathering up sticks that you find. Because you, once you splice a stick, it'll also break down into two arrow shafts. So take the two arrow shafts and put them on that. Like I said, come over here, find you a good stick, slice it up. Maybe it doesn't work with a dagger, but we can take that ax that we got, take it to the stick. And boom, out pop two arrow shafts. For example, we'll put that feather right there. And there we are. But you say you need an arrowhead. That is what the bones are for. The bones are in the chicken legs. So here we go. Splice up the chicken leg. Take that bone. Chop it down into arrowheads. Now this is mainly just for training at this point. You're not gonna really make all of your arrowheads out of bones all the time. But for now, while we're training, that's what you do. Bone tip, and just uh, blue, red, doesn't really matter. Just go around, get these feathers, and start training your archery, because it's XP per hit, not per kill. Remember that. So. These things are pretty weak. You can do quite a bit of training with these. Go get it. You're gonna find you're gonna find bows laying around everywhere. And also, if you want to see us craft a bow on the next video, make sure you drop that down in the comments and give a thumbs up. We'll look at crafting some bows. Another another solid side tip here, guys, is if you have a lantern and an axe like with the handle that we made earlier you can actually mount that lantern to that pickaxe or that axe okay and light that puppy on fire have that on your hip so you'll have that light just naturally while you're uh, mining or whatever super clutch and it'll only take up one spot in your backpack dope so i told you at the end of the crafting section of the last video that we would be taking a look at putting up something on the handle that we ended up crafting which is what I plan on doing. So we're out here right in front of the blacksmithing house. We're gonna go in there, whip up a chisel for this so I can make it a little bit easier to chisel 
uh, the next things that I need to get done. I need to get an axe done and a pickaxe done, a proper one, not the ones with flint and all that. Also, we're not going to be using flint to chisel that out, right? Because we're going to be using the actual chisel. You'll see that uh, process. So oh, let's go whip this up real quick, slap it on the handle. Okay, now that we're in the blacksmithing house, we're going to go ahead and search the deck. We should find a chisel mold. Now, this is the chisel mold, but once you find it, you can go ahead and place it on the blacksmith. However, you might not see this right away, and that's because someone hasn't found it yet in the server. So if it's not here, go to looking for it. But again, don't worry, you can still use flint to chisel your wood. Don't trip. So once you have this uh, chisel here, again, bring it over to the room, bring out whatever mold is in there, and remember, put the other mold back up on the shelf. Don't be the dude that does that. Just don't do it. Okay, now that that's up on the shelf, we're gonna use the ore that we got. If you remember in the last video, if not, I'll leave it linked below. We got some ore. I showed you how to do that with your basic pickaxe with flint and a stick. So now we're gonna take that ore First, we actually need to take the mold off real quick because we want to make ingots. So we're going to take the copper ore we have, put it in there. And there seems to be fuel in it already. Sometimes there's not fuel, but if there's not, you just put uh, wood down here at the bottom. Probably need to put a few chunks in there. If you want, you can make this process go a little faster by pumping it out a little bit. Over there is where our bars will come out. And you're good to go. Now we'll come back over here, grab that uh, mold, stick it on there. This time taking our ingots, and this one only takes two ingots, so we only need to get two. And out of the other side comes your chisel piece. Now if you notice, this thing kind of has that point on the end, uh, and it's kind of dull looking. So we have to take it outside, and we actually have to forge this thing. So while we're at it, we actually need to make a smithing hammer. This way we can actually uh, sharpen or uh, get the edges worked into the chisel that we're going to make or any other sharp object that you're going to make. So go ahead, once you have your ingots made, pop this on there because you won't need a hammer to forge your hammer, obviously. Pop your five ingots in there of whatever quality. Now to the other side, you will get a hammerhead. So key word of advice, always keep your eye on the ground because I happened to find a handle just laying around for the hammer that we were trying to uh, make. So now we have our forging hammer. My friend here, Freckle, is going to go ahead and make that forge for us. He just threw the um, chisel into the fire, and it's going to come right out. He's going to be able to throw that on there, get that smithing hammer that we made. And as soon as he has that hammer, he can just start going to town, holding that piece with the other hand. While it makes no noise for some reason. There it goes. <laughs> If it doesn't go on the handle, it still has a little bit of thickness to it. Then we throw it back in the fire, let it get hot again, and retry. I believe there's a little flash of blue. If I remember right, boom, now it's done. That little flash of blue is what you're going to look for. And bingo, bango. Stick it right there. Now we have our chisel, so we won't have as uh, many issues just chiseling out the axe head and the pickaxe head that we want to make. Because then we'll come back, forge those two heads to put on the handles, and we'll be ready to go uh, wherever the heck we want to go. Okay, 
So for your pickaxe, axe handles, you're going to want to use this one right here. Okay? Go ahead and throw it up on the thing. Fill it up with your wood. Throw some grass on there while you're at it. Now that we have uh, both of our handles done, we're going to go ahead and take the rest of the ore and the ingots that we got in the last video and go blast those down into a pickaxe head and an axe head, both, and slap them on here and they'll be ready to go at that point. So now that I'm back in the blacksmith, I went and found the pickaxe and the axe heads and know that one of them takes four and three, so seven times three is 21. We're going to need 21 ore of whatever value to make these. I don't really care about the rest of my uh, ore that are my ingots that I have on copper, so I'm just going to go ahead and do them all and turn them all into ingots first. Let all the ingots roll out. Go ahead and grab them all. Now here's where you don't want to screw up. Um, you don't want to put in all your ingots, the all eight ingots, uh, with just that mold on there. Otherwise, we're probably going to make two axe heads and not have enough left to make our pickaxe head. So on this, at this stage, definitely only put one in at a time that you need per item. That way you know you're not going to screw it up. We'll go ahead and let that pump. We can take that off basically right away as soon as it starts churning. If it'll let me. Put your pickaxe head on there. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little one. And we do have to forge out the axe head. Because it does have a uh, blade on it. So anything with the blade on it you're going to have to uh, forge. Whew. Once you're done, finally join it up and you have yourself an axe. Now, as far as the pickaxe goes, we didn't have to uh, forge that, so same goes. Put it on there, and we're actually ready to mine with proper tools. Remember the last video? I did show you how to make your first makeshift multi-tool. Well, this is how you really want to go. And over time, we will use this one to go down into the mines and upgrade the materials. We'll go from this to iron, from iron to steel, and so on and so forth. Make some uh, mix and match some combinations of some metalloids within the game and make some pretty cool stuff such as uh, Valiant and uh, Electrum, some other things that we can show you. So you want to see more on these in particular and you want to see us go down into the mines with this make sure you hit that like button drop the comment let us know what you want to see cuz now we're ready to rock but not not with not with that i guess
That's all for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it and leave a comment down below as we decide what we're going to do next. Thanks again, God bless, and we will see you next time. Thank you.